I'm Caitlin Ball, and this is my story. Growing up, I didn't have any room for faith in my life. That's what I thought. I grew up in a mostly secular environment. Um, you know, had no had no faith in Christ. Um, thought Jesus was a myth. Um, I thought that. Uh, Christians were typically just a hateful bunch of people who um, were prejudiced. I also grew up, you know, very successful in other terms. Um, in high school, I had, you know, all kinds of accolades. Played soccer, I was, you know, it was all conference. I was, you know, MVP my senior year. I was the editor in chief. Paper, and I was a valedictorian in high school. I had did well in you know pretty much all walks of life. Um, I kind of thought I, I was the bomb. I thought I had it all together. And when I came to Carolina, I thought that, that I would just continue to be successful, and people would just look up to me. And I had lots of friends, and still I felt just this sense of unfulfillment. And um, still coming to college, I had all of this emotional baggage with me too. My Cousin uh, Katie had died of cancer when I was a freshman in high school. And that was really confusing to watch that. She was just a few years older than me, and I didn't understand the purpose of a short life. And my grandma died uh, about a year afterwards, and my grandma was like my biggest role model. She was one of the first women to go to UNC. And just thinking about her, was one of the ways that Christians here at UNC uh, broke down my lack of faith. Essentially, I came to UNC and I ended up walking onto the soccer team. And a bunch of my teammates um, started dragging me to, to Bible studies and church and into all that stuff. And I only went because I wanted to hang out with them. <laughs> but I kept going because they were really nice people and they treated each other very nicely, um, very kindly. and. I was just interested in that, like interested in how nice they were to each other and how much they loved each other. And I was also interested in how they loved this guy Jesus and I just didn't understand it. Um, it just, it was so genuine, but I, I considered him to be a fake. And one of the ways that uh, my team, one of my teammates challenged me was with my grandma. Um, she knew that I was really close to my grandma and she was like, Caitlin, like if, if your grandma died, where, where did she go? And as an atheist, I was like, well, I don't know. Um, I don't really like believe in like a heaven or hell. And she's like, so you think she just like dissolved into nothing? That her whole life was just, you know, completely meaningless. I was uncomfortable like, with saying yes to that. My heart really started to change um, when I got into His Word. When I started reading my Bible, I started memorizing Psalm 13. Actually, how long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? Just reading that line, like taking counsel in my own soul, that's what I've been doing for, for 19 years. <laughs> I've been following my own wisdom, and that was not getting me anywhere. You know, it left me feeling really unsatisfied. And so I looked at how people were describing Jesus, and how they were describing him as a savior. They were describing him as eternal hope, as a man who, if you accepted his, his free gift of grace, that you, that you wouldn't have to worry about the ailments of this life, that you've been promised an eternal life. It had all of those uh, scars and all that pain that had been inflicted upon you um, on, in this you know, sinful place that, that would be healed completely by Jesus. That was really profound for me to think about. Ultimately, I think the last step that I had to take was realizing that I needed a savior. Um, because I had all those, you know, all these athletes, and I really just didn't think that I needed Jesus. Thankfully, um, God just started to open my eyes to my own, um, to my own selfishness, my own brokenness, and you know how many chains I had just holding down my life. Once I, I realized that I, I needed a savior and Christ was that savior, I decided to get baptized um, on uh, Easter weekend about a year ago. Um, I got baptized. And uh, it was really great. Um, my family came, my mom and dad came, and a bunch of my teammates came too. I mean, the, the feelings of guilt, the feelings of condemnation, um, 
were literally instantly taken away in that moment. I was like beaming for the next week or so. Just so excited that I had surrendered my life to Christ. So excited that I could finally follow someone who I could trust and that it no longer mattered about me striving for perfection when I finally understood that I needed a savior. That's what I felt like. My name is Caitlin Ball. I'm on the women's soccer team. I'm with Tar Heel and I'm second.